Hey man, welcome back to Man Time. Today's episode, we're gonna dig back into the Husqvarna 455. I'm not happy with it, uh, and, and it's not running right. Uh, I went to put it in the wood after uh, going through the carb, um, taking a little bit off of that fuel line. Uh, it, it's one of those problems, it's like the most difficult problem to solve, uh, where it runs good and then it just doesn't. But I think it's starving for fuel. I think I found the problem. I think it's in the carb. It might be uh, the Welch plug. I haven't changed one out, but I got a carb kit and it's got a new one in it. So we're gonna see if we can figure it out. Welcome to man time. I think this little guy is the source of pretty much all the problems. Um, it, it's basically the same thing that was happening with that little 338, and it had a Welsh plug in the very front of it. Uh, I guess where it, well, where it made it up with the cylinder. This one does too. It's got a Welsh plug there. It's got uh, the impulse here, and then I think I found the main source of my problems here. You can see the high quality stamping c-h-i-n-a i think that was uh my main issue so if you're worried about like getting a uh, aftermarket carb from china for your saw don't worry it's already got one um yeah this is w-t-e-a walbro right the real deal this is what comes with your saw it's already got the china replacement on it so don't worry. I did end up ordering one, but I'm going to use that carb kit. So check this out. Here's the deal. Uh, I think something's not working right. It's either the check valve or it's the Welsh plug. Because listen. Yeah, so when I'm blowing through the um, tube that goes to the uh, purge bulb, or primer bulb, whatever you want to call it. When I'm blowing back through there, I'm getting air just puffing through. And then you could see when I was blowing through the idle uh, jet, um, where you know it sprays fuel in at idle, it was blowing out through the top here and blowing bubbles in that last video. So if you missed that last video, check that one out. There's a lot of good helpful tips, the disassembly and all that. This one, we're just gonna be trying to get it to run right. Um, problem was it started immediately started immediately uh, tuned okay but what was happening was I was tipping it on its side and uh, it still wasn't wasn't running right and I thought the main source of that may have been one of two things it had a clogged filter and then it also had a uh, stripped out um, stripped out screw hole or whatever you want to call it in the plastic it's got a little plastic retainer that this bolts into with uh, you know the plastic thread type bolts uh, the plastic was stripped out so I was thinking when I was turning it side to side it was kinda letting air in and just going lean when I tipped it on its side and then when I tipped it back up it would go back to rich I don't know but anyways I replaced that so it's got that piece on it um, that piece, piece on is new. Man, I wish I had a new little screw for that. Uh, I think I'm going to have to go to Ace to get a new screw for that. That's the only way I can get the Welsh plug um, in there. Is going to be to uh, to get that out of there. Let me see if i got a screwdriver that's going to fit that. Well, it's a good thing I tested this theory out. So I just put some uh, soapy water like just in this uh, in this one-way valve here. It's got a, a one-way little brass plug right there. I just put soap in there, blew through it, just put soap in there, blew through it. It's the, it's the one-way valve, and I can show you that right here. Try not to spray my camera. Should be able to look at that one-way valve. Uh, let me look at the one-way valve instead of trying to look at the lens, maybe. 
Yeah. Yep. So it's blowing straight out of that one-way valve. And then if I do it in reverse, we're going to be looking down there. And there's, again, bright clean coming out through that, uh, through that impulse, or the idle valve there. So the one-way valve, it's not a one-way valve anymore. Well, one thing I'm going to do while I'm waiting here is, is figure out my exhaust mod. And the way to do that is typically with, you want to do it absolutely with the muffler on there, right? To figure out where you want your, your hole at. Uh, your bar is going to be going, you know, right in here. And it looks like the bar is going to be somewhere here. So I've got plenty of room either, you know, just from looking at it. Right up here or right down here. Now, initially I would want to go here. But look what happens when you set the brake. Right? It, it knocks it forward. Um, so if I, I mean, I could have it coming here and kind of pointing out this way. Um, but I think I want it here. I think I've got a better chance of kind of getting it where I want it down here. And the exhaust, it like, it comes out down, down here. So it's more of a straight shot coming out here than up here anyway. So that is why I want it there. So let's see if we can put a three quarter inch hole right through this thing. I did open it up. Uh, it is a old enough saw where it doesn't have the internal baffle. So it's just a, a straight through muffler. I can see, you know, daylight looking from the exhaust port to the screen and, you know, vice versa. Um, so let's, uh, let's get a automatic center punch. And yeah, I think I want it right in this corner, like facing out this way. I think I've got it automatic center punched. Pretty good. With these star at ones, you have to do it a few times. Honestly, the one that I got from Lowe's works better than that one. Blasphemy, I know. Of course, you know, I get my star at stuff off of eBay, so it uh, could very well be that it's uh, not operating like it <laughs> originally was. I got a little chunk of three quarter inch pipe here. Um, boy, we're pretty close. Yeah, that, that holds it. I think it just looks big because it's kind of at an angle or something. Now you want to take your muffler off, of course, and get all your chips out of there, but yes. Okay. It's going to be similar to that. It's going to be further in there. Um, you know, something like that. All right, I checked it on the saw. This is pretty much what I am going for. So I'm going to get this welded up, and then we'll see what it looks like on the saw.